in and Roy, it's like picking up yeah, a little steam. Vice have been, I've been getting back into boxing too. I've been watching a lot of getting back into like my documentaries and shit on it and just kind of getting into it. So no, I like it. It's pretty cool. I mean, I like the quarantine shit. It's kind of giving us different things to perspectives. Yeah, things to be excited about and shit. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, if you ain't pivoting. Like, well, what you, you doing? Like, on this year, it's like, man, you had ample time. You do. And still do. You do. It's like, if you ain't get figured something done, out. Get those plans done. Don't let them sit. And it's Work like, man, them. and I know a lot of people, and I know you and me, have, since the beginning, we've been talking about this. Since the beginning of it, we've been, okay, this is time. You got to figure something out. Da, 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 da. And some people are just sitting there thinking, like, man, wow, it's all yeah, fucked up. It, you know, the whole year, I can't wait for it to go back. It's like, man, this was your time to make a level up. Yeah. This was the level up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your level up. Your, your specific, your, right. Your specific it should one. be a level up for everybody. I have a feeling, what do you think, when, sh- when shit does, when vaccines, and we'll talk about that next, when everything <laughs> gets back to where everyone feels comfortable being outside again and all that kind of stuff, do you think it'd be like the roaring 20s again? I was thinking something like that. Yeah, I, I think it's like going to be good. I, I have a feeling it's, like it's going to be yeah, major so. upgrade. I, hope, I think it's going to. I hope. I hope it'll be prosperous. I think it should be cool. Especially, I mean, after the Great Depression was the Roaring Twenties, right? Yeah. And this is the next but biggest after one that since was the Great Depression. So, huh? But <laughs> after that was the Great Depression. So, I thought the Great Depression was the early twenties. Uh uh-uh, uh, thirties. Really? Let's look it up real quick. I thought it was. The, that's why the they called the Roaring Twenties because it came 20s after. Was successful? No, 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 no. Oh. When was the Great Depression? I, I thought it was 1919. From August 1929 to March 1933. During the 30s. Yeah. Right. So it was dope. So why was that? It was dope before the... De- <laughs> so why was <laughs> it the Roaring Twenties? I guess it was a lot of spending that wasn't really there type of shit. A lot of what? During that time, it was just like a lot of growth as far as entertainment and spending, but I don't think the money was in it really. And stocks just kind of got caught up, I think, during the 30s. Maybe like the 90s? Kind of, probably like that. Because everyone says the 90s was cold, right? Do they? Financially? I don't know, but just like in general, like motherfuckers love the 90s. It was like the golden era of a lot of I shit. I think culturally, but I think 90s maybe culturally. was fucked up. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe like late 90s, early 2000s when the tech shit came. Yeah, I can maybe see Maybe that's that when shit so. popped off. Yeah. But as far as culturally, everyone says like 90s. I feel like 90s. Yeah, like 90s especially nostalgic. Especially sports. Super, super nostalgic, yeah, culturally. Now, are we just saying that because... It was that for us? I think that it's the flavor of the month right now. I think that you have the generation who are coming into the uh, the adults who are making shit and kind of, you know, having a lot of platforms. They're coming into the age where the 90s babies type of shit. Or when 90s was when they were kids. So it's kind of coming into that age where you're seeing a lot of those platforms being appreciated. Yeah, so I it, think it's just the time for 90s right now. You always have those swing backs. Always get those swing backs. It, yeah. it, it, it's really funny it's like that those there's kids grow up and then they relive those nineties, their, their childhoods, and they kind of develop it and mix it with their adulthood. It's kind of it's like bringing your childhood out. It's just bringing you out into adulthood. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that. Think about this. There's 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 kids right now that can, that are able that are very able bodies that weren't alive in two thousand. That's crazy. Super able about like kids with kids. Guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> kids, the kids, think that's crazy right there. You can have a kid and not have been born in 2000. It don't seem that long ago. I know, I know, I know. That's Asia for you. Man. Holy that's fuck, Asia, man. Asia. Like they, man! If this shit don't go fast, I don't know what goes fast, man. Holy, yeah. even this, even the pandemic went kind of fast. Yeah, it's what eight months or so. She had March fifth, March fourteenth, some 15, shit like that. Yeah, like that, that. I remember that I week remember. like it was yesterday. <laughs> But, like, holy shit, how fast is this shit going? Wow, man. And it, and it just gets faster. Yeah. December, it's already middle of December. It's damn near shit next year, goddammit. Remember, remember Tiger King? Yeah. Remember that I whole thing? remember that shit. <laughs> I was so mad about that. He's like, bro, you got to watch it. You go like it. I'm like, I can't go, bro. Did you, so, you, did you never watch it? No. Oh, yeah, that shit no, was, I shit. It was good. There was a scene. I got to talk about this one scene. Shout out to Nate Robinson, by the way. Uh... Yeah, shout out to Nate Robinson for putting us back 400 years. <laughs> Getting your ass put by thank, white thank homie. You. White homie beat your ass. Thank you for that. Let's start over, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So he, uh, no, so there was this scene. So you know it was, it was a zoo. Uh-huh. It, or it was like the zoo that this dude was going around, um, and he owned it. And one of the motherfucking dudes, or one of the, the girls that worked there got her arm bit off. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> she's fucked up. So it was like, and she still works there too, which is crazy. So she got her arm bit off, and then and then so people were like waiting in the lobby to get in. So the dude comes, the Tiger King comes out there and goes, "All right, you guys, um, we're gonna have to put a postpone on this. Somebody got their arm bit off by a Tiger." <laughs> You know, people were looking around like. <laughs> then they showed a clip of him later going, oh, "I'm never going to financially." So he goes, "I'm never going to come back from this." <laughs> like, oh shit! Oh, you got you got to check it out, man. I'm t- I know, like, whenever you got some bullshit time leisure, I don't have leisure time for that shit. <laughs> Why are you so against it? I, what I, I'm it's pop culture. About my time, bro. What? So what do you do for leisure? I develop myself. Oh, me too. But like. So when's the last watch, time you watched something that was not developing yourself? I try to watch stuff with sustenance, bro. And with whatever what? that is, whether it's comedy or something, I, it's like the way I look at shit, I, that's just some, not something that I'm going to be I mean, as far as comedy, it was definitely funny as hell. I know, but that's just not my type of comedy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's definitely. perfectly fine. You like, like stand-up? No, I mean, I love stand-up. Right, that's yeah. one of my favorite types. But it's not just that. That's just not going to do it for me, though. That's so like, you wouldn't watch something like um, American Horror Story? Uh, I don't actually don't know much about American Horror Story, so I or just like any of those, like a, like would you watch a would you watch a sitcom? Yeah. Okay, so I you like sitcom. that kind of comedy? Do you watch? Uh, I know I like you watch most documentaries. Comedies. I'm a, actually comedies is my favorite. Genre. So you like shit that's funny, just yeah. not that kind of funny. That's just not gonna do it for me. That's just <laughs> I, 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 I'm telling you, there's a, there's at least, but you know what? It was more of a documentary, is what it was. The fact that it was real life is crazy. This, these real people. Right. Which it was such a shit I show. Like it. I was like, <laughs> like this shit was a shit no. show. Uh, did you ever see? Uh, you might like this, but it's not like it's a it's a documentary. Don't fuck with cats. I feel like I started to watch this, but no. Well, if you started, there's I probably love a reason cats, why you did. So don't you probably shouldn't watch this. I want to watch it now. Because <laughs> <laughs> the first couple episodes is fucked up. They fuck with cats. It's literally called Don't Fuck With Cats. But they fuck with cats the first time. They fuck with cats. Yeah, they fuck with cats real <laughs> vicious. <laughs> it's really fuck kittens, too, which is even more fucked uh, up. It's funny. Yeah, uh, these fucking kittens, man. God damn. 